clause 8 of this bill, it then tells you who the directors of, or the board of directors is going to be composed of. And they have been enumerated there from uh, clause 8A to H. And I can count, Madam Speaker, that out of the nine people who are supposed to be on this board, six are appointees of government, national government, to essentially oversee what is a devolved function. What is more worrying, Madam Speaker, that if you go through other clauses in the, in the bill, you will notice this pattern being repeated. And for me, I honestly cannot sit here as a senator to allow even an inch of what is devolved to be taken away. And I can see that we are slowly by slowly, by some of the legislation that is being introduced here, chipping away the functions of the, uh, the county governments and planting them in national uh, government agencies. If you look at clause uh, 72A, uh, Madam Speaker, of, of that bill, it talks about management and control of the assets of that agency, an agency that is going to oversee devolution. But then there's a proviso to that particular uh, section that says that if that national agency that is managing a devolved function requires to charge or dispose any immovable property, it can only be done with the, a prior uh, approval of the National Assembly, not of the Senate, Madam Speaker. That tells you that that spirit of clawing back slowly at things that should essentially fall under the mandate of this Senate, uh, under the mandate, mandate of the uh, devolved units, uh, is continuing. Madam Speaker, you will go to clause 15 again. You will see that in uh, establishing a framework for administration and management of the health system, the comprehensive integrated health information system, the agency is only required to consult not with the governors, or the Council of Governors, or anybody else in devolution, not with the Senate. The clause speaks of the agency consulting with the Cabinet Secretary, again, uh, an official of the national government. But, Mr. Speaker, there is more problems that I have seen uh, in this particular bill under clause 17, where it sets out the main objectives of the system. If the main objectives of the system as per this act, one of them is to make sure that they facilitate data processing and use uh, for informed decision making at all levels, including for resource allocation and management in the health sector. If indeed this is one of the jobs that these people, are, uh, the, the agency is supposed to oversee, then if you are using it to determine resource allocation, the people with the resources under devolution are the county governors. If you don't involve them, how are they going to allocate those resources? Further, my, uh, Madam Speaker, to demonstrate that point even further, under clause. Uh, 23, uh, sub, sub clause 2, it says the agency shall provide health data to the cabinet secretary for relevant action. I have a problem with that. This information, health, uh, health data, should be given to the primary executors of uh, health services or health function, which is uh, uh, the devolved units, Madam Speaker. Finally, uh, if you look at, uh, there was one more issue that I wanted to, to raise. Uh, it has escaped me. Madam Speaker, under clause 26, it gives even the Cabinet Secretary a role in establishment of county health data banks under 261A. I do not believe that that is something that the county, uh, the, 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 the Cabinet Secretary should in, be involving themselves in. So what we are hoping, Madam Speaker, is that the spirit we saw in Turkana, that the majority